Do you want in? All right, what's up everybody? My name is Steven. Today we're gonna go over some tips on installing sound editing. All right, tip number one is to use a decent roller. This one's about two inches wide and includes a nice thumb rest. That way you can really get in. The main benefit for this is using this flat edge on smoothing out that sound deadening. Because when you're using this roller, it's a little bit harder in the colder temps, but when you get this backside, you can really smooth everything out and get a great adhesion to the side of your vehicle. Tip number two is to install your mask in a warmer temperature. If you're not in that type of climate, you can use a hair dryer or a heat gun to heat up the mats and then install it and roll it and adhere it to the side of your van. So tip number three is a safety tip. Wear gloves. I cut myself at least five times installing these mats. I didn't look at the instructions and I didn't look at the safety precautions and that's the price I paid. Okay, tip number four, you don't need your vehicle to look like a spaceship when you're installing these sound editing mats. It's gonna be diminishing returns, it's gonna waste money, and it's gonna create more weight on your vehicle. Tip number five, cover your wheel wells. Those are gonna create a lot of sound when you're driving. Obviously it's right next to the road and it's right next to your tire as it's spinning. So go and give that some good coverage too. All right, tip number six, you don't need to install sound deadening on the roof or the floor. If you want to, it'll be better, but the ridges in the roof and the floor already create a sound deadening effect. Tip number seven, like and subscribe. I wanna see you guys back here for this van build. I'm gonna post a playlist right up here. I'll see you guys in the next video.